Hello everybody, this is Oz House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dungeon Munchies. In the previous episode, we took on our second boss and ended up going on longer in the episode than I had originally intended because I got distracted playing the game and lost complete track of time. Oops. But oh well. It's not an indicator that the episodes are going to be getting longer. That might happen in the future. But we'll find out. Anyways, back to the game where I'm in the middle of getting blasted by some clams. A.K.A. water spirits and somehow slipped right in between the... blasts. Oh well, I ain't gonna complain. Ooh, what have we got here? Uh-oh. Back again? Are you going to do that thing with the flame every time we recover a recipe? Stop messing around. You're not being rational. You're a spirit who can't eat, and now you're teaching a zombie how to cook? Your apprentice is just eating the foods for the effects. Zombies that can't taste can't carry on anything. Yeah, but it's not like you've done anything either. Show me what you've got. Those notes have already lost their value. There's no one left to use them, and no one left to eat magical foods. You know this. If you were serious about it, you wouldn't spend all your time planting plants and raising magical creatures. I said these creatures are our everything. The age of humans is over. They don't need to die for our survival anymore. We should be doing our best to protect them. The age of humans isn't over. I'll open the Stargate and prove it to you. Stargate? I thought you gave up on that idea. I've explained this to you a thousand times, but you still won't face the facts. You're wasting your time. I will burn your peons before they get to that Stargate. Again, this is translated from a foreign language, so there are going to be typos and grammatical errors, because English is not the most easily understood language. Cooking is an art. Those of us that do it bust our brains trying to create dishes that make people happy. It's hard work, but at the same time, it's fun and rewarding. I feel such a sense of accomplishment when I see my friends eat the stuff I make. That's why I spend so much time in the field and in the kitchen researching and improving my cooking. Right now, none of that is possible if we stay here. To be honest, as good as it looks, I don't know what the food you make tastes like. I don't think you have working taste buds either. More importantly, nobody here wants to eat our food. What's the point in being a chef if there's no one to feed? Right now, we're just using cooking as stepping stones to strengthen you and reach the Stargate. For a brighter future and a return to our old lives, this is something we must do. Alrighty then. Halcyon Heights Recipes. Found the secret recipes of Halcyon Heights. Nice. Alright, nothing else in here. Let's move on. Hmm. Fried durian puffs. Hope I haven't missed that recipe. Oh, hey. Slippery soles. Permanent dash. Nice. Nothing to say this time, Tyler. Hold on, let me look ahead. Let's see. Railway crossing. I don't think we've missed it yet. I don't know, I'll check the book. Soldiers of the forest, to your battle stations. Do not allow Simmer's dogs to run wild in the city. Activate your traps. All hands on deck. Banish the unclean to the depths. This isn't the first time you've asked us to sacrifice our lives. You forget your priorities. Simmer only treats you like ingredients. Our great lord is the one keeping this place together. To die for her is the highest honor. That lord wants to release the herbivores on us. We're worse off if... Silence! Kill that zombie or I shall report you to the lord protector and you'll be punished. Fine, fine, whatever. Hmm. Y 
Yeah, I'm getting the distinct feeling I've missed a recipe. And I just missed an ingredient. Ow. Bean. Wonders why it's still alive. Ah, uh, what's going on? Why am I stuck? Hey, hey, get back here. Uh, there will be an upgrade we get much later on that makes collecting ingredients that fly away easier. But it's going to take a bit to get there. Hmm. Ah, uh, no, wait, we haven't missed it yet. Okay. Increases magic damage by 20%. Max man increases by five. Okay, so we're starting to get some stuff that can increase our magic. Cover health every 15 hits. That could actually be useful, but I'd need to backtrack for that one. Let's see, bullseye omelet, bow damage increased. Strong soy milk. Increases maximum health by 20 points and increases axe and hatchet damage by five points. Well, I mean... It's basically the same as the grilled shrimp plus more, but I don't use an axe or a hatchet. So, not much of a point. Hold up, what else we got? Oh yeah, double crab boil. Increases damage of every second strike, no. And let's see, bean gun. High speed bean shooter. Shooter. Pew pew pew! Let's see, rice cutter, swing charge, pass. Fairy Staff, Magic Damage, Fairy Sphere, Durian Shield, Durian Axe. That's about it. There is something we can get, it seems, but... Yeah. Now, let's see. Okay, we want to go upwards here. To get the recipe. Which requires dealing with a lot of spiders. Like, a lot of spiders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lost recipe. Fried durian puffs. High calorie, high in fat, and good for high blood pressure. As in good for treating it or good for causing it? Because given this game, I could believe either one. That's not it. Here we are. Fried durian pops. Increases damage output by 30% from melee attacks executed while falling through the air. Huh. Rice. It's hard to find a good bowl of rice in this day and age. Come on, line up for your daily dose of poison. Huh. Weird. Even when I'm going one way, the shadow so shows me going the other. Alright, come on. Deal with you as I dealt with your friends. Oh, it's the sound of their sickles dropping. Uh, I'm supposed to find a way to stop you. But I don't feel like it. You go on ahead. Can't really stick my neck out for a leader that doesn't care about the lives of plants. 
Lord Protector doesn't care about plant people. She just wants to bring about sustainability and a balanced ecosystem. And other strange things. Things that don't even matter for us plants. Under that system, we'd just be eaten by herbivores. Why do we have to sacrifice ourselves for the ecosystem? Why do we have to follow a leader that just wants us dead? I should let you defeat her. At least I know you and the necromancer are just looking for things to eat. Compared to her, the damage you do is almost negligible. Yikes. Are you the fearsome, despicable, undead soldier of Simmer? Good! Please partake in my blood and my flesh, and allow me to assist you. Lord Protector's tyranny is ruining our livelihoods. We are the victims of a dictatorship, and plants are just following orders. Every day the Lord Protector rules is a day that our rights are oppressed. Eat me. Let me sacrifice myself for the future, for the destruction of the tyranny. That is the second time a plant has tried, has actually asked us to eat them. Well, if I had a nickel for every time that happened, I'd have two nickels, but, um... Ain't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. Watermelon. These grows on trees, right? Well, no. Alright, I won't attack the guava trees, considering they're not attacking me. Oh, hey, a fairy. Wait for it. Fairy larvae. These cocoons eventually spin- they eventually spin are also pink. Alright, and in case it ain't obvious, the traffic lights signal when the electricity is about to fall. Ow. Went a little early on that one. Hmm. Still hasn't dropped any of those metal shards. Next secret bit isn't going to be until later on, so I think we're safe for a bit. Ah, there we go. Scythe pieces. These pieces will decay and soften if not used properly. new recipes can we cook? Soft-shelled scythe. I mean, it did say they would soften if not used properly. Poison or bleeding effects caused by daggers inflict an additional 20% damage. Hello. I think I can get rid of the barbecue toad leg. It's fallen behind. We also got Brazed Mantis on Rice. Enables sword combo. Not using that. Dash and attack. Quick and powerful attack with a sword type weapon. Damage increases with weapon damage. Inflicts at least 30% damage. There's also the watermelon, but we need Durian Flash. So that's going to have to wait for a bit. Any new weapons? No. Where is Simmer the Necromancer? I have a few ideas I'd like to exchange. I'm a proxy. The boss doesn't want to speak to plants. Also, she doesn't see the point of your existence. Well, that's some severe discrimination. Looks like she can't get with the times. She's still holding on to the outdated thought that fruits and vegetables are food. She also said if any plant called her discriminatory... Wait, let me just read you the memo. Yes, I hate you. Now you're going to revolt? Produce was made to be eaten. You're the mischievous work of some insane mage. Maid? Destined. Looks like your boss is a human supremacist. To think that everything is made for the purpose of human consumption. I can't remember everything. Hold on, let me pull out that argument response rubric she gave me. Humans created this dungeon with their hard work. They are literally the only reason plants and animals can continue to survive. And so what? Does that mean we have to willingly subject ourselves to? 
Sorry, that was the last response on this rubric. I don't know how to answer anything else. What did you want to talk to our boss about? I want her to help defeat the Lord Protector. What? I thought, because the new guy's been running around, that... Oh, the damage from that is minuscule compared to the Lord Protector's disastrous policies. I don't really understand your Lord either. What has she done now, to have you coming to us for help? She's taken over Mount Asan and now has control over all the plants. In order to fulfill her ecological visions, plants have to be regularly sacrificed... have to regularly sacrifice themselves to become food for different animals. Herbivores need to eat all day, every day. The damage your little zombie does is no match for the massive animal populations we need to feed. Uh, this is very complicated. I'm not following. Don't herbivores have to eat? No. The only way for plants to have a future is to choose for ourselves. There are a lot of plants that are just plants, like the grass and many of the trees. If the Lord of Forests took these plants, wouldn't everything work out? That's where you draw the line, but we plants look out for all plants, regardless of how primitive. In time, they may also achieve sentience. Okay. Right. Ooh. Okay. Let me take care of these fairies before I focus on this little guy. Who most likely is completely harmless, but I'm going to kill anyways for the, uh, food. Fairy wings. Very mysterious. Or at least I would if I actually could. Huh. Alright, fair enough. Seems that they're immune. Which is probably for the best, because they're so adorable. Ah, camp. Let's see. Magic damage increased by 20%. Yeah, no damage was taken. Hmm. Happy Panacotta. Have I... No, I don't think I've missed that one. Grab bone, blood, blood. Yeah, no, that's not for a bit. See, fairy staff. Eh. Oh, you're a big guy. Well, for me. Durian shell, and a very aggressive looking shell. Yeah, durians are spiky, ain't they? Ow. Nah, he didn't even give me any ingredients, great bugger. Ow. Come on! Ooh, hello! Got something up here? Bingo! Happy Panna Cotta! Hmm. Strange that they put this further down in the, uh... in the guide, but it could have been that there was, uh, added on after the fact. Doesn't worry. Just one bite will remove any anxiety, huh? Huh. Seems I've glitched this out. Whoops. And I also wasn't paying attention to my health. Huh. Guess if I jump while dashing, I get a semi permanent shadow. Neat.
Ooh. Durian flesh. Compared to other ingredients, this actually smells okay. Yeah, I guess, comparatively speaking. But in reality, apparently durian smells very bad. Here. Where'd you hide it? I don't have to tell you anything. Yeah, real mature of you to just hide things. You're the immature one. Why have you turned blue? You weren't like this. I'm a spirit. Spirits need to look blue, translucent, and a bit blurry. Otherwise, how will people know you're a spirit? Are you having trouble maintaining your form? I don't have to tell you anything. Magic bends reality by using up mana to fuel that change. Every time we use mana, we sacrifice a bit of ourself. This is what you told me. You're hurting yourself for an impossible goal. This is my final warning to you, Simmer. The consequences to opening the Stargate are immense, and I will not let you go further. Then we're done here. I don't know since when we became like this, Grill. I will open the Stargate, and you're also coming with me. What was that flaming edifice saying about you doing self-harm? Aren't you glad you have a boss that's willing to sacrifice herself for her employees and ambitions? Glad my butt. What are we supposed to do if you disappear? You better explain on wh what on earth you've been doing. Don't worry about any of that. She didn't major in necromancy, so she doesn't get it at all. Spirits use willpower to generate mana. Only a spirit without resolve would bur run out of mana. Oh no! My image fidelity! This isn't funny. No worries, no worries. You should be more worried about the progress of your work. All these problems can be ignored as long as we can leave. Trust me on this. I just remembered, you called her... Grill? Did I hear that wrong? Nope. Is that truly, really Grill, our control freak dragonborn RA? Usro da! Why does she look like a big green glowing pile of puke now? People change so quickly when they enter the workforce. Yep. I don't get it. Why is she so mad about the new guy and cooking? She used to spend all day in the lab in the kitchen. She was also the one who almost got us all arrested for it. I also want to know the answer to that. You were always the most annoying out of all of us, so I can't believe it's Grill now being kind of insane. But if Grill doesn't want us to have those recipes, she can easily stash them away somewhere. Alright, there wasn't anything back there to look over. Alright, the Mount Asan area. Ah! She didn't do a good job of hiding them. Found the secret recipes of Mount Asan. Alright, we can finally make the robust watermelon stew. Gain a charge after landing a successful mini atta melee attack for a maximum of 10 charges. For each charge earned, attack speed increases by 10% and damage dealt decreases by 1%. Gotta go fast. Huh. I mean, being able to attack a lot faster is actually going to be more useful than the damage, because all of our damage comes from damage over time effects, which I don't believe are affected by this. Let's see, Pappy Panacotta. Wait, so we do need to kill those things, so why couldn't I? Increases defense the lower your health is with a max of 50% damage reduction. Okay, Crunchy Durian Fritters increases damage to spear type weapon by 20% when a shield is raised. Nah. Increases damage output by 30% for melee attacks is skewed while falling through the air. No, I am more interested in the Pappy Panicata. And the robust watermelon stew, but what do I get rid of for that? I guess the seafood hot pot. But hold on, let me see if I can fast travel to a place where I can get those poppies. Poppy plantation. Yeah, let's see if I can't get those real quick. I don't know why it wasn't letting me attack them earlier. 
Oh, right, and new weapons. Let's see, Mosquito Jar. I need some Blood Lotus for that. And that'll finally upgrade my secondary. 120 damage, 120 damage over 4 seconds, so... It's the same amount of damage, just done a lot quicker. Good to know. Boar Tusk Dagger, inflicting 300 damage repeatedly over 10 seconds, an obvious upgrade to my Spider Dagger. Need Redwood and Boar Tooth. So you Boar Tusk Hatchet, Lightning Staff, Antelope Spear, Antelope Bow, Firefly Triple Shooter. Uh, that's what we can use the Firefly's King Tail. But we need some Redwood, which we need from these guys. See, Gorgon Shield, Gorgon Claymore, Gorgon Axe, and then we have this. Sites for interns required. Okay, well, anyways. Let's try again to get these poppies. Once we've dealt with the fairies. Okay, seriously, why isn't it letting me kill these things? There we go. Pappy fruit and pappy flower. All the good pappy cultivators are in prison. And I didn't get to see the one for the other thing, but we can get that from the pappy panicata. Come on. There we go. Thankfully, it's not too far from our last fast travel point. Oh, huh, what's this? See, fires magic spheres, then inflict magic damage, hold to speed up recovery. Right. Alright, Pappy Fruit. Contains a viscous white liquid that quickly oxidizes, turning gray slash black. Ugh. And Crispy Land Shrimp. Attracts three friendly fairies that follow you and attack enemies. Hmm. Alright, back to where we were. Mount Tassan. What was it, area? Area entry. Now, here's the thing. Do I keep going? Because we've only got about two minutes left. You know, I think I'm just going to finish off by talking with them. I met a plant person that looked a lot like an ice cream cone. He was looking for the boss. I've never heard of a plant like that. If Grill were here, she'd probably know. Speaking of Grill, the boss just told me. Grill is the lord of the protector of the forest. Tyler, you promised you'd quit your medication. That wasn't even my fault. Grill and Simmer forced me to take... Wait, that's not the point. It's really true. The lord protector of the forest is our old friend Grill. He doesn't look like Grill at all. I don't know why she's dressed like that either. What should we do? Should we try and talk to her? I don't think she's in the mood to talk. We'll just have to see if the boss has something up her sleeve. Plus, I don't think there's time. Once everything's been gathered in Asan Ranch, we'll need to smuggle it all to the Stargate. Are we leaving Grill behind? I can try looking for her and... We're in the middle of a big operation. Grill's being hostile, I think the boss is losing her ability to do magic. Sorry, I'm kind of confused too, but I think getting our shit together and getting the job done is the best we can do for now. A lot of things seem to be falling apart. Simmer's having trouble with magic. Girl talked about how she was using too much mana, but then Simmer also said she can generate more. Emma, you took the same classes as Simmer. Do you know what's going on? Uh, yeah, ask Simmer's skeletons to do most of my homework. Let me think. Magic takes up mana, but I'm pretty sure mana can only be generated by a corporeal body. The spirits without a body can't regenerate mana. So if Simmer uses too much magic, she'll eventually disappear. I recently remembered that we exist due to Cinder Simmer's reanimation magic. So if she disappears, we're gone too. What? She never said anything about that? Can we help in any way? Well, we know that Simmer's the type to call for help and complain loudly whenever there's a big issue. So, right now, if she's not concerned, maybe we shouldn't be too worried. Like Tyler said, we should get our jobs done. We'll talk to her about it when the Stargate's ready. Alright, well, with that conversation, we have actually run out of time for this episode. So, I'm gonna end things off there for today before I end up going further on and not realizing I've run out of time. 
Anyways, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, and please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.